In this tutorial, we will demonstrate how to semi-automatically segment the coronary arteries, how to use a center line to take advanced measurements, and how to prepare a virtual model for CFD analysis. Perform an initial segmentation of the aorta and coronary arteries using the coronary tool within the cardiovascular submenu of the advanced segment menu. Restrict the boundaries of the segmentation to the heart structure by adjusting the wide bounding box in the 2D view. Click the Indicate Aorta button in the Coronary Segmentation dialog box. Pick a point on the actual images in the center of the ascending aorta at the level between the two coronary ostia. Click the Add button to indicate the starting point of the left coronary artery. Pick a point in the actual images just outside the contour of the aorta segmentation. From the start point, corresponding endpoints can be chosen. Select the plus button in the S1 row. In the actual images, follow one of the coronary branches and left click at the endpoint of the coronary branch. Repeat this step for all major branches of the left coronary artery. Repeat the segmentation process for the right coronary artery. When you are satisfied with the results of the coronary segmentation, click Save Results and Save All. A mask will be created for the aorta, left coronary artery and right coronary artery. If needed, use the multiple slice edit tool within the segment menu to edit the aorta mask created in the previous step. Click Apply and OK once all editing is completed. To remove any floating artifacts, select Region Grow, found in the segment menu, on each of the three masks. Generate a 3D model of the masks generated from the region grow operation. Do this by using the Calculate Part tool from the segment menu. Select the optimal quality setting and click on Calculate. To ensure there are no holes, wrap the part using the Wrap tool found within the 3D Tools menu. To clear away any surface deformities, smooth the newly wrapped part with the Smooth tool from the 3D Tools menu. Within the Analyze menu, select the Fit Centerline tool, select the Smoothed Wrapped LCA and click Fit Centerline. A centerline will appear in the Objects tab. Toggle on the Transparency in the 3D Viewport toolbar to visualize the results of the centerline algorithm. Within the Measure menu in the Centerline submenu, you can create some advanced centerline measurements of your choice, like the best fit diameter, circumference or sectional area. Hide all measurements by clicking the Measurements tab in the Project Management window. Toggle off the visibility for each measurement. To create coronary outlets normal to the centerline, right-click the centerline object in the Object window. Select the Cut Centerline Ending tool and the Correlating tool window will open. 
click Indicate and select the position near the distal end of each coronary artery. Select the cut operation from the cut centerline ending window. The resulting cut centerline object will be generated in the object window. An aorta coronary model is prepared with a surface and volume mesh for use in a simulation. Export the finished coronary model to Trimatic. Go to the Fix menu and select the Fix Wizard tool to ensure the part is ready for mesh optimization. Click Follow Advice once the part is selected to fix the part. In the Mark menu, select the Wave Brush Mark tool in the Brush Mark submenu. In order to apply proper boundary conditions for CFD simulation, inlet and outlet surfaces are required. To create the inlet surface, mark the triangles on the aortic valve surface. You can unmark incorrectly indicated regions by holding the control button while indicating. Adjust the brush diameter to your preferences in the Operations tab. To create the inlet surface from the marked triangles, right-click the Marked Triangles from the coronary model. Then select Separate, Move to Surface and Create New to move the marked triangles into a new surface. To create surfaces for the outlets of the model, mark the triangles of the coronary outlets. In the Mark menu, select the Smooth Region tool and select one of the coronary outlet surfaces. Create a new surface and give it a name. Repeat this step for the other coronary outlets. In the Remesh menu, select the Inspect Part tool to check the quality of the triangles. Under the Quality parameters, set the shape measure to skewness, change the histogram parameters from Current Measure to Shape Measure, and set the minimum maximum value to 0.0 and 0.3. These settings determine the number of low quality triangles. Make sure you check the box color low quality triangles under the visualization menu. The inspect part tool opens a new viewport. To leave the inspection view, click on the work area tab at the top of the 3D view. Obtain different triangle sizes for the coronary arteries and for the aorta. Mark the triangles of the coronaries. Select the wave brush mark tool and indicate the coronaries. Hold the Shift key to select the triangles on the back side of the coronaries. You can hold the Control key to erase marked areas.
Use the Adaptive Remesh tool in the Remesh menu to optimize the surface mesh of the part. Toggle the Export mode off. Select the part as the entity and set the target triangle edge length to 1.5 mm. For the local remesh parameters, select the marked triangles as the entity. Set the maximum triangle edge length to 0.75 mm and the influence area to 0. Click Add and this will show the input in the overview list. Define a growth rate of 10% which determines how fast the transition from the triangle edge length of the coronaries, which is 0.75 mm, will grow to the triangle edge length of the rest of the aorta, which is 1.5 mm. Click Apply. When choosing the filled with triangle edges, shading mode, you can see that the coronaries were remeshed in a more detailed way thanks to the chosen local remesh parameters. Click on the Inspect Part tool in the Remesh menu to verify if the surface mesh quality did improve. The new mesh resolution results in no triangles that are below the shape quality threshold of 0.3. Use the optimized triangle elements on the part surface to create a volume mesh. For the local volume mesh, select the marked triangles, which are the coronaries, as the entity. Set the maximum edge length to 0.75 mm and the influence area to 2 mm. Click Add and set the growth rate to 15%. For the Analyze Mesh Quality parameters, set the shape measure to aspect ratio and the threshold to 0. Click Apply at the top of the Operations page. To visualize the volume elements and clip the 3D object with a standard section. Expand the section list at the top of the object tree and select Standard Section Y. In the Properties tab, toggle the Clip checkbox and change the position values as needed. Export the mesh into ANSYS file format by going to the File menu, selecting Export and then choosing ANSYS. Add the coronary model part as the entity and change the Export option to Export Surface and Volume Mesh. Click Apply.